Hello everyone and welcome to Jojo's Break Time. This is the Create a 3-in-1 Noodle Shop that's coming out later this year and this is what my build is inspired by. I really like this shop and I really wanted to build one right now. This is the Lego Friends Street Food Market set that I've used. I've kept the taco truck because I really like it. And these are the two little buildings that I used to create my bigger build. And the seating area with the lighting there, I really liked it, so I've kept that as it is. So let's take a tour of what I have created. Let's start with the juice bar and I put these pink little tiles on the front to add more colour amongst the grey tiles there. The little chairs are studded on and this is the build. So I've increased its width. It is now 12 studs wide and I've added in this staircase and the little bin under the stairs. I've used up the arches that came with the set. I liked how that looked and it looks like little windows and it saves you on bricks also but keeps that little set how it was which I love doing. This is a little sink I made for the fruit and veg and that just goes here in the middle. I have made two juice blenders so this one's blending up some watermelon and then this one came with the set. So this one's got like some green grapes in it. Now the little shop is complete and I have made it eight studs deep just because that's the easiest way to make the builds and to fit along the main street. I really wanted to keep the original awning from the set. So I just had to put in a larger plate there to hold it all in place and that's it. It looks so cute and colourful. And here's another base plate. So this is a 8 by 16 and I've tiled it to match my main street. This planter stand came with the set. I just popped it on a 2 by 2 plate to hold it all in place and to increase its height because I've tiled the sidewalk there. And I've popped another one in here and I really wanted to use this. I loved it from the set, the two light posts and the little flag bunting along there with the little lights. Kept it exactly the same and made sure it just fitted in on the plate there. And I loved this cactus, love everything about it. That's why I've put it here on the corner so you can see it nicely there from every angle. And my cat and the punk cats are hanging around the bin trying to get some fish bones. Now is the little sushi shop. I tried to keep it looking as close to how the original was. Added those red tiles in to give an extra pop of colour there. This took me a little while to decide on how wide I wanted it to be. And I wanted to include the open area here like the Creator Noodle Shop has. And I wanted to use up those curved bits so that worked out really well. And I added this little pokey bowl on top because I removed the other sign, but I have used it. I'll show you where I've used it later. The front bench here I've kept the same and I also added a spare a wheelchair ramp that I liked and a little drain there in the tiling. So let's see inside. I've increased the bench space and I used the extra bowl we received and I just made some extra sushi there, popped some chopsticks in, that knife's over there and I've got a flying one over here. Got to pop it back on here. And then I added a little oven and stove top because we will be cooking some chicken also. Just made a little sink so we can do washing up of the veggies and the utensils. Here's a little island bench top. We've got a chicken there ready for katsu chicken. I added these red legs in to keep in the colour scheme. And that there is a little rice cooker. Yep, I didn't have one, um, one of those bricks with a hole in it. If you do, use it and then you can put a dial on the front. But I thought that 
would do and it does look like a little rice cooker that there the little step there is for the support of the floor let's join it together and I've got to get it around the right way there we are it's starting to take shape adding more of the flowers that came with the set and I so wanted to use the flag I added a handle piece there so the flag can attach to that and then I can use the planter piece flower thing that came with the set. So now is the last bit, the picnic table. And I really wanted to include this. I wanted to use the green plate there because I wanted to add extra color. You can use a gray piece if you want. And I've started that on so you can remove the picnic table if you like if you want the big open area or you can pop it back in like that and it holds all the plates together too so that's level one done now let's take a look at the apartment i wanted to use up these awning windows i had i had quite a few of these in teal and these little windows here the one by twos looked best down the bottom i found and I alternated round and just normal bricks there. Added some bars across the top to add extra detail in. And then just used tiles and dots tiles to add extra features. Love the teal door that I added in also. And here's a little light piece that came from Ninjago Gardens I had. And that was in the noodle shop. So I wanted to add a little light there. And I've done exactly the same on this side, keeping the same theme and colour scheme going. These studs here on the wall are for this little sign. So in the noodle shop they got the little noodle box there and I thought I should use the little ramen bowl that came with the set and that fits perfect there. And we've got the little chopsticks hanging down so you can angle them down. I tiled the top of the walls so the roof is removable too. The apartment is eight studs deep and I wanted to do the pink colour scheme with the teal. It reminds me of Monkey Kid and Ninjago sets and I really like those. So let's look inside. I have hung a TV there on a bar. So this is the kitchen area and there's some utensils hanging up. I made a little shelf there just to add more cups and things there. And that sticker is from the hotel set. So I just trimmed that up a little bit. In this teeny tiny apartment, I managed to fit a bathroom in. Yes, there is a basin, a shower and a toilet. My mini dolls need a bathroom and I gave it to them. <laughs> In the creator set, there's no bathroom, there's only a chair inside, but I have made this kitchenette. This actually is from an old creator three-in-one set I had. I had spare pieces, so I made this. It's got a little oven there and a sink with drawers, and it fits perfect into this teeny tiny apartment. Space saving furniture is always great. This is like a little day bed with drawers. I actually found this online. I saw a picture of it and I built it from the picture. It uses quite a few parts from what I saw, but this is what I came up with. And that's just studded on there with a jumper plate. We've got a little pillow there and it is perfect for this. So couch by day, trundle bed by night. Look at that. And we need just a tiny little coffee table. We've got a little sandwich on there. And then that fits snugly in the corner there. And that is the lounge kitchenette area. In this little space is the little kitty cat's food bowl. So that fits nicely in there amongst the little doormat. And I made this little bookshelf space saving furniture little tiny bookshelf i loved that bamboo plant so i kept that from the set and just used it in the little apartment here and here's a teeny tiny kitty we're sitting on his little cat stand and that just fits nicely here even though this is a teeny tiny apartment it has lots of furniture this is just a little reclining chair 
and it fits nicely here so my mini doll can sit and read in a cozy little corner. Lots of furniture for Sebastian's apartment. Yes, my city, he lives in this little apartment. It is perfect for him. Let's pop this completed apartment on top of the sushi bar and juice bar. This is how it fits on. I wanted to make it removable so it was easy to play in inside too. And it's starting to look good. Now I just have to show you the roof. Oh, one sec, there is a little stud there, a little um, plate I had to actually put underneath. That fits there because I didn't have a 1x5 plate. So that was just near the stairs. Alright, so now that part's complete, I will show you the roof. Here's the little roof area, there's the little antenna and satellite dish, tiny little garden. That is an aircon unit there and I had to include that little bonsai tree, all so pretty. And then I just used these pink slopes in this type of pattern just to add some extra features on the roof. I had these two spared slopey bits so I used them and I did the same pink uh, design there on this side. So that's how that looks like and that pops on the top and I thought the black actually looked really contrasting against the pink and the teal. I, I think the colour scheme has turned out really well. So that's with all the parts there and an aerial view. I'll just show you some of the buildings from the main street. That's my fish and chip shop that I've made and this is the hairdresser that came with the main street. I just added an extra yellow level to it. So that's how it looks like amongst the builds. Nice and colourful. I didn't want it three storeys high. I felt it needed to be two storeys and like the noodle bar that's coming out soon. My version of the Creator 3-in-1 noodle shop, but Lego Friends style. So I used all the parts from the street food market set in this build, plus many more other parts. And I love the colour scheme that's come out of this. I love the pink and the teal with the white. And the black roof just adds perfect contrast. This build could be amongst the Monkey Kid buildings or even in your Ninjago sets. So everyone, get your bricks out, get building and get creative.